Joycast from Joy 94.9. Visit joy.org.au to find out more about our Joycasts. Hey, this is Samantha Jade hanging out with Leo on the Friday morning show on Joy 94.9. Join the 4.9 Friday morning show with Leo. My next guest this morning on the show is no stranger to the Joy Studios. We absolutely love her. She won X Factor way back in 2013. She is finally releasing her brand new album, Nine, in store online today. But welcome back to Joy, the gorgeous Samantha J. Back in studio. Oh, I love being here. You were last back here in July with myself. Mm -hmm. You've been pretty busy since then. Yes, I have. You got slimed on Slime Fest. I know. A few months ago. Mm -hmm. I was watching that. I thought, you (laughs) poor hair. Seriously. Did it wash out right? Well, you know what I did? I actually put a big headscarf on. So half my hair was actually covered. It was just my fringe at the front that was out. Oh, so right. I could rewash and blow right. dry because you shoot two shows in a day. So, mm, yeah. <laughs> so never, never again, or you like it? Oh no, you got to do it. It's a bit of fun. And we just come off the racing um, scene, the yes. racing carnival, yes. and you were in Brisbane. I was looking very, very gorgeous in a oh, black, um, lovely you. black frock and, and the yeah. headpiece. Yeah, I know gorgeous. that headpiece was beautiful, wasn't it? Who made that for Loved you? Uh, yeah, the headpiece was a Christy Millinery headpiece, and I loved it. It was beautiful. Because they're all very glam and black. Very glam. Yes. I know. So I decided had a, to go dark. But how did Brisbane um, celebrate the the racing festival? Yeah, well, was it was so fun. Was that? Yeah, it was beautiful. It was a nautical theme, actually. So when we performed, we actually performed a little um, – my dancers had little hats on, little oh, sailor hats, and nice. it was really cute. They wore stripes. But, yeah, um, it was really hot. It was actually 35 that day, and we performed right in the sun. So oh. I – it was hard to get through that whole set, to be honest, because we were just water when we came off. We were like puddles of water. <laughs> it was like we were up there going, oh, gosh, please stay on powder. But, um, yeah, it was really, really fun. And I saw that you met um, a cheetah at Australia Zoo. Oh, my gosh, I did. And you touched the, What was that? I can't – I was I was so shit scared. I, I, well, let me just walk you through the day, right? So we get to Australia Zoo, mm-hmm. and I'm super excited because I love zoos. I was mm. so excited. I was like, this is going to be so fun. And this is the zoo. If you want to go to a zoo in Australia, that's the one to go to. And then they go, so we've got a little VIP zoo thing going on for you. I'm like, all right, what is it? They're like, well, first you're going to meet a rhino. And I was like, What? Like, you're going to touch it and you might feed it too. And I was like, and then you're going to meet a cheetah. I was like, oh, my God. Do you guys want me to die before this performance? I was really scared because mm. that rhino was it's so huge. big. But it was actually really, really sweet. The cheetah, though, I I don't know. Because I said to them, it's what, beautiful what about – Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. But I said, what about if it does turn around and, like, run after me? And they're like, well, then we're all gone. <laughs> Very honest. I was like, right, okay, good. Well, let's just hope it doesn't. <laughs> exactly. Um, X Factor, of course, yes. um, is back on this year. We're nearing towards the, the grand final next yeah, week. Yeah, I know. And um, who's your favourite? Well, who's been your favourite this year? You know, it's really hard to say because everyone this year is very different. Yeah. Don't yeah. you think everyone's got complete – like if you if you imagine the albums, they would mm-hmm. all be so, so different. Exactly. Um, I am loyal to my mentor, Guy. And so I and and, and I really Matt. do love Jess and Matt. That I just gorgeous the that performance they did with the with the um the song the, the door. Oh, that was amazing! Yeah. But the song from um from Greece, Greece. yes, blew my mind. Well, I was I like, want. that's amazing. It was so different because that just shows that guy is so musical, musical, and he, he knows is. how to arrange different mm-hmm. songs in different ways and yeah he's so talented and he's so musical and he's also very um like he for me if he says i did a good job it really means i did a good job you know and when i sang at the x factor the first thing he said was that's the best i ever heard you sing and i was like oh my gosh that means so much to me because he's such a perfect singer i was gonna say because the x factor performance was fantastic oh, thank i you. was watching that before i was just going oh, you look i the first thing I saw was your shoes. Oh, my gosh. How amazing were those <laughs> they shoes? They were fantastic. I tell you what, though. They weren't actually – okay, so they they were shoes. I had these little but, shoes. But they a... were leg jewels. Oh, fantastic. They're leg jewels. They actually come onto your leg and you do them up. They're amazing. 
Aren't they amazing? They're ridiculous. The, the, and, and the gold fork and everything. And what mm. really impressed me was the wind machine. <gasps> well, like Beyonce. The wind machine that was doll. my Beyonce moment. <laughs> I was like, is that wind going to blow in my head? They're like, yeah. But to do a big performance like that with, with um, Square Division, of course, mm. do X Factor. Yeah. There's a lot of preparation and a lot of sort of involvement with like how it's going to look and stuff. Ah, uh, well, no. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I was away and then I was, you know, doing something else. And then I only actually rehearsed the day before and saw the stage plot and everything the day before. Yeah, I learned it. I think it was about an hour and a half hour rehearsal. You learn it, then you go home and you try and, you know, get get it in your head. It's quite hard. And then you go back and perform. But Square Division are so lovely. They are the most beautiful guys and they're so talented. And they're actually really open. So some of the things if you say, look, I'd rather sing this big note and not dance here, they're like, yep, Mm. absolutely. They're very much about the artist. They're great. Because I have it with Britney Spears and Taylor yeah. Swift and everybody. Everyone. Got, everyone. They're doing amazing. Joe Jonas. Uh, sorry, Nick Jonas right now. Not no. literally. <laughs> <laughs> we wish, anyway. No. <laughs> They're doing his musical direction, I think, of oh, all his, um, right. his show. Yeah, which is amazing. Um, my special guest in studios this morning is the gorgeous Samantha J. Shall we play check that? Yes. Featuring Pitbull. More of us next on Joy. It's Samantha J. Talk to him. <laughs> Hi, this is Samantha Jade, and you're listening to Melbourne's most uplifting music mix on Joy 94.9. Joy 94.9, Friday morning show with Leo, my special guest in studio this morning on release day <laughs> for her new album, Nine, yeah. the gorgeous Sammy Jade. Hello. Now, um, when I was watching X Factor, when yeah. you performed Shake That on mm. the show, then they said, your album's coming out. I was going, what? Now? I know, I know. It was so unexpected. I thought we're going to go out next year or something, but <laughs> I know. you dropped that pretty quickly. We did. You know what? Everyone's been waiting on it for mm-hmm. a while, and I was so excited. I really wanted to say it earlier, and they kept going, no, let's, let's do it on The X Factor. It's very fitting for me to announce it on The X Factor because, mm. look, when I went on that show – the dream for any artist is to do an album. And so when I left that show, it was my dream to do an album. And to announce it on the show was just a really special moment for me. So, yeah, it's finally coming out. Woo! And lately, I mean, there's been mm. so many artists that have named the albums after numbers. Yeah. I interviewed Tina Arena the other week. And mm. the album's called 11. Oh! The new um, CL album's called 7. <sighs> And yours is called Nine. Yeah. So what was the significance as far as the title goes? It's a very uh, special number to my family and I. So my brother is born on the 19th of September, which is the 9th. Nice. And I'm nine years older than him. My other brother's born on the 9th of November. And I'm born on the 18th, which one and eight is nine. And two nines make 18. So it's just very in our family. You know, it's oh, just nice. that number. Okay. And when I actually wrote this um, album, when I was recording it I was living in apartment number nine as well so it was just weird like that number just yeah. kept following us around perfect number for your album it is perfect, perfect. it was perfect um the 90s vibe on the album is pretty cool when I was listening yeah. to it um it's sort of like um wait for it and what yeah. you, um what, what you, you want, want yeah. and show me love very more Irish <laughs> yes I yes. love that Do was you? that intentional oh, thank you well look she's an inspiration obviously she is a big inspiration yeah. for any vocalist I think mm. any female vocalist she was one of the ones that set the paved the way for us all but um yeah i i do love the 90s i'm a huge 90s mm. fan and uh and and that does influence me and always has and uh, when i was making this record i was listening to mariah destiny's child like you know that those songs that i you know felt beautiful when i listened to those songs and you mm. know danced around the mirror and thought i was a pop star <laughs> it's like the open track called always yeah is love that track do you that's going to be the next single isn't it that is going to be a single yeah you're filming the video very soon I hear I am that's right Um, can you give us a sneaky peek as to what we can expect from the video well I can say this I don't want to give too much away but I can say that it's been cancelled four times due to the weather so it's going to be outdoors yeah (laughs) I think so and my lips are sealed Another highlight for me on the album was a track called Only Just Begin. Oh, Only Just Begun. Only Just Begun, yeah. Very Avicii sounding. Yeah. And when I put did my little notes here, which yeah. um, you're looking at right now, I'm going to give this. you the little notes. Yes, please. Um, there you go. You can keep <gasps> that. I love that. Uh, yeah, I, I just That's hit, so sweet yeah, that you've done that. So I, um, I said Only Just Begun. Yes, what have you said Avicii, about that? And I put Single. Dance track. Oh, you did too. Yes, I put single. I yeah. love that. So I think so too. I think that should be a single too. Mm. I mean, we don't really know what the singles are going to be yet. I mean, yeah. that's the next process. But um, only just begun was written with the people who wrote "What You've Done to Me" and "Firestarter." 
I was three. Yeah, yeah. And, and we knew we wanted to write something in that vein and that just came out. They're, they're, they're just they're amazing songwriters and, and producers, Those that team, DNA, Anthony and David. And, yeah, that was one of our my favourites. That was one of our best sessions.